I want you to. We're going to start. We're, later on, we're going to be moving. Okay. And then, but this is an important concept that we okay. to understand when, really when with I, all of our I, throws. We right? talk about I'm our hapanokazushi. What is hapanokazushi? What is eight directions of off balancing? Right. There's eight directions. Right. Right now. Right now. This is this is coming to the corner. Right, this is stand straight. Yep. When you start to fall, don't tighten. Okay, now when, when Gigi steps back what with his foot. When you when you tighten up, then you okay. Now body, now what direction uh, is that? Edges, that's really that's his front. That becomes his front. Okay, so so we got we got to kind of understand that because actually Ty told me to throw that. While we want to throw him to the front right corner, it is executed best when your opponent is transferring his weight moving backwards to onto the foot that you're attacking. All right, so we'll, we'll keep that in mind later. The reason why I'm bringing it up is to establish the proper angle, you have to really plant this foot right. Step over here just a little bit. All right, this uh, very commonly. We all tend to over rotate with this foot. This foot ends up coming too far back. And we really, we're used to, we're used to, say an Aggie, right? We want to be 180 degrees, right? We're facing the same direction. Our feet are pointed in the same direction. And Tai Toshi, when we're throwing to the corner, we're really, we're not, we're not rotating 180 degrees. Right? Our, our body, plane of our body is moving here. Right? We're throwing him over. Okay, so she's 90 degrees. This one, what your body is and I go. Right. Yeah. Gotta throw him to the corner. When you when when you when you misdirection with this throw again. It really affects your spacing and you're being able to execute your throw. So how, how do you control that? Really it's this back foot. When you over rotate with this foot, now that, that the, mo the direction of the throw starts moving this way. Right? When I, when I rotate this way, now I'm throwing it more to his front. Right? So I really, if he's if his feet are square, I don't want to rotate out and open it that much in that direction. Just watch again how my feet come over a little bit. I'm going here. I'm going here. See, my foot is about here. Not so much here. Right, when I go here and here, now I can't, it's hard for me to not pull them in this direction when I want to pull them in that direction. So I'm going to go here to here, here to here. Right? My legs end, my, see this I'm diagonal is the orientation to my opponent. Right? I'm here, like this diagonal. Okay, so let's break back into our groups. Let's try it again. Where, here's the thing. I don't know. We're doing this exercise. It is. We're thinking a lot about what's this hand doing, what's this hand doing. So we are thinking a lot. Really don't think about it while you're doing it. You should. We're here. Just relax. Make sure you have a good posture. Don't look at his feet. Right. Just relax. You don't have to do throw quickly from one to the next. But here, you want to throw quickly. Hands above your head. All right. Ready? Think about what you're doing. Go right through it. All right, two groups. Go.